The Golgi body, also known as a Golgi apparatus, is a cell organelle that helps process and package proteins and lipid molecules, especially proteins destined to be exported from the cell. Named after its discoverer, Camillo Golgi, the Golgi body appears as a series of stacked membranes. The Golgi body is a portion of the cell that's made up of membranes, and there's different types of membranes. Some of them are tubules, and some of them are vesicles. The Golgi is located right near the nucleus. It's called a perinuclear body, and it's actually right near the endoplasmic reticulum as well. And when proteins come out of the endoplasmic reticulum, they go into the Golgi for further processing. For example, carbohydrates are put on some of the proteins, and then afterwards these glycoproteins, meaning they have carbohydrate as well as protein on them, these glycoproteins move out of the Golgi to the rest of the cell. And they do so inside other vesicles. Those vesicles are actually made from the Golgi network. In fact, one of the functions of the Golgi is to make new vesicles out of the existing membrane of the Golgi and put into those vesicles the glycoproteins and other substances that are made in the Golgi network. And then those vesicles, filled with the Golgi products, move to the rest of the cell, usually through the cell to the plasma membrane, which is their end destination. Golgi apparatus, also called Golgi complex or Golgi body, membrane bound organelle of eukaryotic cells, cells with clearly defined new lysosomes are an important cell organelle found within eukaryotic animal cells. Due to their peculiar function, they are also known as the suicide bags of the cell. The term was coined by Christian de Duve, a Belgian biologist who discovered it and ultimately got a Nobel Prize in Medicine or Physiology in the year 1974. Let us have a detailed overview of lysosome structure, functions and diseases associated with it. Lysosome definition. Lysosomes are sphere-shaped sacs filled with hydrolytic enzymes that have the capability to break down many types of biomolecules. In other words, Lysosomes are membranous organelles whose specific function is to break down cellular wastes and debris by engulfing it with hydrolytic enzymes. Lysosome structure. Lysosomes are membrane-bound organelles and the area within the membrane is called the lumen, which contains the hydrolytic enzymes and other cellular debris. The pH level of the lumen lies between 4.5 and 5.0, which makes it quite acidic. It is almost comparable to the function of acids found in the stomach. Besides breaking down biological polymers, lysosomes are also involved in various other cell processes such as counting discharged materials, energy metabolism, cell signaling, and restoration of the plasma membrane. The sizes of lysosomes vary, with the largest ones measuring in more than 1.2 micrometers. But they typically range from 0.1 micrometers to 0.6 micrometers. Lysosomes work as the waste discarding structures of the cell by processing undesirable materials and degrading them, both from the exterior of the cell and waste constituents inside the cell. But sometimes, the digestive enzymes may end up damaging the lysosomes themselves, and this can cause the cell to die. This is termed as autolysis. For detailed study please visit the website biologymum.com and to remain updated follow all the social media profiles. All the links are in the description. The term, vacuole, means, empty space. They help in the storage and disposal of various substances. They can store food or other nutrients required by a cell to survive. They also store waste products and prevent the entire cell from contamination. The vacuoles in plant cells are larger than those in the animal cells. The plant vacuoles occupy more than 80% of the volume of the cell. The vacuoles may be one or more in number. Let us have a detailed look at the structure and function of vacuoles. Structure of vacuole. A vacuole is a membrane-bound structure found in the cytoplasmic matrix of a cell. The membrane surrounding the vacuole is known as tonoplast. The components of the vacuole, known as the cell sap, differ from that of the surrounding cytoplasm. The membranes are composed of phospholipids. The membranes are embedded with proteins that help in transporting molecules across the membrane. Different combinations of these proteins help the vacuoles to hold different materials. Functions of vacuole. The important functions of vacu... For detailed study please visit the website biologymum.com and to remain updated follow all the social media profiles. 
All the links are in the description.